Our next student tonight is coming to the stage. Very good guy, worked very hard. Let's hear it for Louie. Happy New Year. Is it too late to say Happy New Year? It is? Well, what, two months, two months into the New Year? Right. How's everybody doing with the New Year's resolutions? Good? Yeah, not so good? I'm doing good. This thing's strong. Yeah. I had two New Year's resolutions. One, slim down. With some weight trimmed down. I lost about eh, 28 pounds over the last three or four months. Thank you. And two, I gave up the DIY. Yeah, you know, the stranger, burping the worm, doing the stranger. The ladies over there, like, what's he talking about? He gave up jerking off. I'm still hanging in there. Two months, two months in, wow. Oh. So you applaud for losing weight, <laughs> but I'm giving up this and nothing. I get nothing, the guys in the back are like, get the fuck out of here, okay. okay. No, I did. It's hard, it's not easy. I got a stressful job, a single dad. You know, I need a release. But, I'm still hanging in there. Anyone uh, single dads? Any single parents in the house? Anyone ever try that single parenting shit? Really? Like two single parents in this whole fucking room? <laughs> you got guys in there that are like, oh, the fucking child support. <laughs> Whatever. It's hard. But I'm not complaining. I love being a dad. If anybody knows me, you know how great it is to be a dad. But it is hard. So I went to great lengths to be a dad. About eight years ago, I was married. My then wife and I were trying for like two years. Nothing. We were trying everything. She had the thermometer, she had the charts. I get home from like a 12 hour shift, smell the candles, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> honey, I'm ovulating. Okay. So we tried, two years, nothing. I finally gave in. We went to a fertility clinic. You never go to a fertility clinic? That shit is stressful. I remember the first day we were driving there, I'm driving, thinking about the whole thing, I'm looking at her, I'm like, she was like 18 years younger than me. I'm saying, damn, I fucking man, this bitch with a busted uterus. Oh. I should have put that in the prenup. Is there anyone here who's gonna do a prenup, guys? Don't use legal zoom. No, they don't put that in. So we go to this fertility clinic, and you know, she's first. We go to the examination room. Doctor's in there, nurses in there. It's very awkward. Let me tell you, doctor puts her up on the uh, examination table. Her legs up on the stirrups, got her legs back up here like a bug's body. It's very awkward. So there's a doctor, and then there's a real hot Russian nurse in there. I couldn't keep my eyes off her. Fucking gorgeous. All of us in the room. It's like a fucking orgy or something. I'm like, what's going on? So the doctor's examining her, and uh, you know. Got his fingers in there, and, and this is when I know I got a sick fucking mind, because I'm looking at this hot Russian nurse, and in my sick inner voice, I could just see her talking to me like, Yavanta use two fingers? And I look over at her, and she's like, yeah, yeah, use two fingers, you're good with that, right, babe? So there she is, and the doctor's like all up in her coochie, fucking meat curtains hanging out. Very awkward. I could have swore I heard her like, uh, like, what? I don't know, maybe she was using three fingers. Don't ask me where that pinky went, but anyway, we went. Then it was my turn. I had to do a semen analysis with the same Russian nurse, Olga. Yeah, and in my head, you know, my sick head, I'm, she's there and you put the gun in here. And I did my thing. Turns out it was me. She was like fucking Eglin's best, producing all these beautiful eggs. It was me. Then we did the whole IVF, and here I am. I'm a father. Yep, best thing I did. 
best thing I did. I can't wait for my daughter to turn 18, let me tell you. She's only seven now, but when she turns 18, we're like, honey, come over here, sweetheart. I'm gonna tell you a little story about a doctor, Dr. Mandingo with these big fingers, this hot Russian nurse, modern science, and how you were born. All right? All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go rub one out. Thank you, Dana. Love you, thanks. Keep it going for Louie, everybody.